I had an idea that it was the rights of every New Yorker, every kid growing up in New York, to come see the theater. If there was a theater district, then it was our district, and every teenager deserved to come to it. I think it speaks to Wendy's character about how genuine and humble she was, that there is this woman who's super famous and we're, she is genuinely concerned or really wants to hear what we have to say. We were totally not prepared for the depth of insight and critical thinking and passion that these eighth graders brought with them. I've realized a few things. One, I truly love New York City. Two, Broadway shows are amazing. And three, pizza may be the greatest food in the world. I felt a really deep sense of peace. I never thought I could really relate to theater. That it would be theater that helps me take off my mask and be my true self. Through our open doors discussions, I've learned that it's okay to have those moments of silence. That just means you're thinking. It's okay to have those moments of tears. That just means you're feeling. It's okay to have those moments of guilt. That just means you're learning. I can honestly say theater saved my life. I felt like for the first time, someone besides my mother wanted to hear what I had to say. I don't think that Wendy could have foreseen the impact that Open Doors was going to have in the lives of so many people. But where there is love, dedication, and a dream worth pursuing, amazing things happen. Thank you for making theater come alive for me and appreciate you for giving me a chance to have a voice and to say I was one of the lucky ones to be a part of something special. And today at 79, looking back, I remember my experience at Open Doors as the most rewarding in my entire life. And I have to say, unequivocally, looking around this room, I think to myself, in all honesty, this is the best thing I've ever done. I had an idea that it was the rights of every New Yorker, every kid growing up in New York, to come see the theater. If there was a theater district, then it was our district, and every teenager deserved to come to it. I think it speaks to Wendy's character about how genuine and humble she was, that there is this woman who's super famous and we're, she is genuinely concerned or really wants to hear what we have to say. We were totally not prepared for the depth of insight and critical thinking and passion 
that these eighth graders brought with them. I've realized a few things. One, I truly love New York City. Two, Broadway shows are amazing. And three, pizza may be the greatest food in the world. I felt a really deep sense of peace. I never thought I could really relate to theater. That it will be theater that helps me take off my mask and be my true self. Through our open doors discussions, I've learned that it's okay to have those moments of silence. That just means you're thinking. It's okay to have those moments of tears. That just means you're feeling. It's okay to have those moments of guilt. That just means you're learning. I can honestly say theater saved my life. I felt like, for the first time, someone besides my mother wanted to hear what I had to say. I don't think that Wendy could have foreseen the impact that Open Doors was going to have in the lives of so many people. But where there is love, dedication, and a dream worth pursuing, amazing things happen. Thank you for making theater come alive for me and appreciate you for giving me a chance to have a voice and to say I was one of the lucky ones to be a part of something special. And today at 79, looking back, I remember my experience at Open Doors as the most rewarding in my entire life. And I have to say, unequivocally, looking around this room, I think to myself, in all honesty, this is the best thing I've ever done. Greetings to you all. I'm speaking to you from my home in Brooklyn. How I wish that we were all together in the Gerald Lynch Theater, but as you know all too well, that's not possible. One of the things we have learned since the middle of March is that while we can't be physically together, we can still come together in different ways. And I'm thrilled that we are all together here for our virtual end of year celebration of the 2019-2020 Wendy Wasserstein Project season. As I speak to you, we are in the midst of two crises of enormous magnitude, the pandemic and the eruption of deep emotions triggered by the murder of George Floyd. I wanted to share with you the statement that TDF posted on May 31st on our social media outlets. Black lives matter. We condemn the murder of George Floyd and countless other black Americans. TDF joins with all who seek justice and demand equality and we are outraged by the perpetuation of racial injustice that is woven into the fabric of America. At TDF, we believe that access to the performing arts is everyone's right. We know that the arts build stronger communities and the participating in a creative process, either as a maker or an audience member, makes individuals healthier. We try to develop programs that act on this belief 
and the Wendy Wasserstein Project is a powerful example of our aspiration. In addition to reaffirming that aspiration, this celebration is a symbol of TDF's commitment to being here for years to come. Several times over the last weeks, I have been asked whether I am worried that theater won't come back after this. And I answer every time with an emphatic no. The theater will come back, no doubt about it. Theater makers are agile, creative, adaptive, and relentless. They will make art always. You know the magic that happens, the emotions that flow, the laughter and tears that can come from a couple of hours in a theater surrounded by other people, all leaning in to hear the same story. And we will cherish those moments, those experiences, all the more for having had to go without them in this season of COVID. So today, let's celebrate the times you spent together this year at the theater, in discussions, even writing in your journals, and let's celebrate moments in theaters yet to come, because come they will. I want to thank all the mentors, the teachers, reps, and TDF staff who made this year possible. We could not do this without you. And of course, our funders who support the program. We're so grateful. And finally, thank you to all of you, the students in the Wendy Wasserstein Project. You have had to be stronger, more adaptive, and creative than any groups that have come before you. You've had to go to school online. You've had to stay at home. I know that some of you have been sick yourselves or had family members and friends who were ill and that you may have lost loved ones. And yet, here you are today watching. I am in awe of you and I salute you. Congratulations on all you have accomplished. And I really hope to run into you at the theater sometime soon, sometime in the not too distant future. And now, on with the show. I'm Paul Fontana, a teacher and administrator at All Hallows High School in the South Bronx. In 2002, I got a phone call from TDF's then education director, Mariana Houston, asking me if I'd be interested in a program in which a bunch of really cool students would see a bunch of really cool plays with a really cool mentor, Broadway and TV director Scott Ellis, who had two shows opening on Broadway that season. The school said yes, and I said yes, 18 years later, 100 shows plus later, here we are. Oh, before I go any further, I just want to give a huge shout out to our TDF rep, the wise and witty and hyper-organized Mr. Bob Ellman. In the All Hallows TDF circle, we have a saying, in Bob we trust, and it's true. At All Hallows, our little high school, our little slice of heaven in the Bronx, the arts have not always been the first priority. But the experience that those groups of Wendy scholars have had over the years, the experience of live performance on Broadway and off Broadway and occasionally off, off, and even once in Boston, the experience of a superstar like Scott Ellis and his amazing theater friends who are never shy about spending time with us, the experience of bonding over a friendly, loving discussion and pizza, all of that has shown the school what manifold gifts the arts can bring to a community. In 2018, the school actually presented Scott with one of its highest honors, the Blessed Edmund Rice Award. The sense that you may be getting of me right now is, whoa, well, this dude likes to talk, but put me in a room full of performers in front of me and I am silent. The theater is a place where we sit silently, quietly alone and contemplate the ideas of the playwright. There are questions about the universe, there are uncertainty about the future interpreted by directors, actors, designers, who bring their ideas to those ideas. Theater can reveal aspects of the universe to us, but it can also show us the universe inside ourselves. We are attentive, alone, thinking. But we're also together. Having that communal experience, that shared experience, that holy experience is what I love the most. The truest experiences in theater I've had in my 50 plus years of theater going have been with my All Hallows students on outings in the Wendy Wasserstein program. A band of brothers that we become after seeing a play, the truths that we can tell in that room, the agreements and the arguments, that celebration of ideas and community is what it's all about. Worry not. Theater will be back. It will be back to bring us those quiet moments of introspection and those explosions of communal celebration. Keep going. 
be the lifelong theater goers that you have become. This is just the start of your journey with theater. And so Wendy, class of 2020, farewell. Hello everyone, my name is Thursday Williams. Through William Cullen Bryant High School, I was able to participate and graduate from the Wendy Weiserstein program in 2019. My mentor was the writer and director, James Lapine. I wanna thank TDF for selecting me to be the alumnus for this year. My experience with the Wendy Weiserstein program was remarkably unique. Unlike other students, I was very fortunate to perform on Broadway in the Tony nominated play, What the Constitution Means to Me, while participating in the program. I was honored when my, when my entire group came to see the show as one of our outings. Not only did I appreciate the support, but I appreciated the thoughtful discussion that came after. I learned things about my peers that I didn't know before. In addition to that, my group and I went to many different outings and had meaningful post-show conversations. I personally enjoyed the discussions because it allowed me to think deeply about each play as well as hear my peers' thoughts. I am now a current student at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, majoring in political science. In addition to taking academic classes, I'm also taking theater classes. TDF made me appreciate theater more. As an alumnus, the biggest personal impact that this program had on me was it made me realize that theater can be a platform for social and political change. It sparks debates and conversations that will change the world. The conversations I had with, with my TDF group helped me prepare for the conversations I'm having in college. They taught me the importance of listening to people and respecting their opinions. The Wendy Wazerstein program bridged the gap between theater and my life. To the current Wendy Project students, like you, my school experience was cut short by the pandemic, which has been hard. Even though we can't attend live theater right now, it is important that we don't lose the connection we have with it. It is an essential tool that can not only entertain people, but change their minds. Now that we're living in a global health crisis and with heinous racial injustice, we need theater more than ever. We need conversations more than ever. Write, create, see virtual theater. We are the change this country needs. Hello, my name is Genesis Peralta and I am a junior at Kappa International in the Bronx. My mentor is Don Chang, one of the world's most respected lighting designers. One thing I love about Don is that she always has a smile and looks for the positives. I like having her as a mentor because she has so many stories to tell about her own experience in theater. From directors to artists she has worked with to her upcoming projects. She always gives us insider information about what goes on behind the curtains and it's very enlightening to us. Even during this pandemic, she has made our TDF experience meaningful and personal by having Zoom outings with us. It's been lovely to have her as a mentor. I was born in Manhattan to a single teenage mom who had just moved to the United States from the Dominican Republic. Currently, I am undecided about which university I want to attend. However, I've always wanted to be an emergency room physician. So I would like to study a science-related major or psychology. I decided to apply for the Wendy Wasserstein project because I wanted to learn more about theater and connect with others. I love talking and com connecting with new people. Communication is key. For example, in our current health crisis, healthcare providers might be the only people COVID-19 patients see if they're hospitalized. Having that person to talk to, even for a few minutes, could brighten up their whole day. Since I started the Wendy Project, I feel I've become more confident and able to communicate more easily, as well as emphasize with others. Now more than ever, I feel like it's important to connect and communicate. Having skills like these can make you a more compassionate person and make the world a better place. Although my outings for theater were cut short, I saw very powerful and impactful plays that taught me about personal connection. One was for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. This performance was held at the public theater 
and was the first time I saw theater in the round. The staging made me notice things a person in a large house wouldn't see and also helped me bond with the characters on a more personal level. For example, before the performance, we were warned that if anyone used their phone during the show, one of the ladies would snatch it from them. At another point, the lady in yellow sat on the lap of a teenage girl while singing and dancing. Being able to have that playful banter with the audience showed me that the fourth wall never existed and that actors wanted us to be closely connected. Towards the end of the performance, the lady in red performed her emotional monologue about her children's death. She spoke with so much raw emotion that you heard gasp in the audience, and I also saw a woman in the front row cry. Seeing the musical so close and personal made me feel like I was part of the performance and part of each character's story. Seeing the show with my peers made me feel safe to share my thoughts and impressions in the post-performance discussion. I wouldn't want to have this experience without them. I was able to bond with my group on a whole different level outside of school, and for that, I'll always be grateful. The discussions were some of the best times we had. Everyone was able to speak freely and no one was judged. My group members helped me make some connections on my own during every discussion. They never failed to amaze me with their ideas and thoughts. Since quarantine, I've seen multiple shows online. I forgot I was in quarantine when watching virtual theater and what was happening in the world. I felt happy because I was watching something I love. It gave me a sense of normalcy, which is very reassuring. My peers and I have been lucky enough to still have our virtual outings with over Zoom with our mentor, Dawn. It feels bittersweet not being able to finish our TDF experience in person. However, it's been wonderful knowing that TDF had not forgotten about us and that we were all going to see this through to the end. Dawn made my experience in the Wendy project more enriching than I would have ever imagined. And to my group members, Gipsy, Matthias, Erica M, Daisy, Erica C, Destiny, Brianna, and Brandon, and especially Professor Beggs, you mean everything to me. Thank you to the Wendy Project for giving me a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience theater. Hey, Wendy Project folks. Uh, the other day, a friend asked me what I miss most during this uh, crazy period we're all living through now. And I said, honestly, I really miss being a mentor in the Wendy Project. Uh, and it really grieves me that we couldn't finish out the year together. And then they asked me what I missed about that. And well, I've been a mentor for nearly a decade now. And there's one thing that surprises me every year. At the end of each season, I sit with my kids and ask them what their favorite part of the Wendy Project experience has been. And I always expect them to say the shows or the pizza or getting out of school early on Wednesdays. But no, no, almost always they say their favorite part is the conversations. And you know all know what I'm talking about. When we gather in a room after the show and every one of you shares your insights and thoughts and opinions about the show you just saw. What did it mean? Did it say something to you? Did it move you? Were you bored? Were you interested? Uh, and it's always an amazing, amazing time to be in the room with you all. And this year, uh, my class of Evelyn, Lamont, Nicholas, Julius, Luca, Joanna, Zoya, and Olga, each one of them always had a perspective or insight that made my jaded old brain go, whoa, never thought of that. And I think that's the great, great gift of the Wendy Project. And I hope it's what you've all taken away from your time with it. Uh, you all have opinions and your opinions matter and we wanna hear them. Why wouldn't we? They're unique to you, so never be afraid to share them. And remember, theater is art, storytelling is art. So there's no right or wrong. And I always tell my kids, you don't have to agree with me or each other, I don't expect you to, but you do have to express yourself. And I hope you take that attitude in the world, into the world and I hope you uh, all learn that from the Wendy Project. And now there are some naysayers out there who think because of this uh, crazy pandemic, theater is just dead and it'll, if it comes back, it'll never be the same and all that. Well, uh, people uh, have been predicting the death of theater for about 2000 years now, but it survived plagues and wars and 9-11 and the advent of movies and television and video games. But the live experience of storytelling will always be with us. So I can't wait for that day, hopefully sooner than later, when we can all gather together again in a theater be profoundly moved by the experience, and then go out and argue about it. Happy graduation to all. Hi, the 
honor of mentoring the seniors and one junior at Gramercy Art School. And when I think back on the five shows we saw this year, three of them in person, two of them online, all of them dealt with a person or a society in crisis, whether it be Michael Dorsey, the actor in Tootsie trying to get a job, or whether it be the small town and in a bigger picture, this country and the world dealing with issues of racism and To Kill a Mockingbird. But all of these were characters and towns and communities and worlds facing a crisis. And we're facing one now. We faced it together. Uh, we are facing it together. It's been really comforting for me to continue our relationship online. And I hope that watching these characters and these communities rise to the occasion and overcome their challenges will bring you some strength and some insight about ways that you can uh, practice resilience and fortitude and utilize this unexpected, global, and very difficult time to grow and to discover new parts of yourself so you can keep discovering new parts of the world. Hi, Brooklyn High School for the Arts guys. Just wanted to say I'm so proud of you for graduating and for going onwards and keep going, we really need you. Hey, I just wanna say hello to my gang from the Community School for Social Justice. You guys, I miss you. Of course, my one of my favorite groups I've ever had got cut short. Um, this is a tough time, we're all sort of trapped inside, but We'll be out soon and I miss you guys and I hope you'll stay in touch. I wish you all the best in coming out of this thing. I'm glad we have you to rebuild for us. So stay strong. I love you. I miss you. Hello, Millennium High School students. I can't believe we're doing this like this, but I'm so proud of you and so sorry we're not gonna be able to finish our season, but we got a good four in out of six and I hope you will return to the theater when it returns, which I promise you it will. All the best. It's not the pizza, that's for sure. And it's not the Diet Coke, it's you. I love and learn from you all and really get so much joy from talking about the way you respond to these shows. Thank you for giving me that gift. It's me, Aubrey. Uh, love you, miss you. Um, sorry I had to go like this. We had so many more fun shows to see, but love you and best for everything. I'm always here for you. See ya. I uh, just I wish you the best. I know most, if not all of you, are heading to college. I think college will start in the fall. You're in an age group where you're pretty much insulated against this plague. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Don't get homesick. S say hello to me from time to time. Be well. The best to you. And if you didn't do your file, if you didn't do all your assignments, what the hell? It's a new year. Hi, friends. Hi, everybody. We miss you. We miss you. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for going on this journey with us and thank you for your enthusiasm and your sharing and sharing your time with us. And uh, it's something I really treasure. Yeah, the same. And when theaters reopen, we should all go see a show and eat some pizza and talk about our feelings. I wish we could all be together in this sad, crazy time, but I promise you, it'll get better. I send you love from California. Hi. I'd like to share a favorite quote of mine with all of you. Where others are trying to close the book on life, the artist shows that there are still more pages possible. To, so to all of you, I would say, keep discovering and creating those new pages in your life. Happy graduation. Hello, TDF grads and congratulations. And to my own particular group, I miss seeing you. I hope we can have a reunion where we're not wearing face masks and are going to the theater, perhaps even my show. Hey everybody, um, I just wanna say congrats on graduating this program and I'm sorry that it's such a weird time to be doing so, but I think that if you can get through it and get through school and everything you're doing during this time, then you're strong enough to survive anything. Um, and so, uh, so the so the world is at your feet, um, and you have so much that you can accomplish. It's been an honor to get to know you all, and um, I look forward to meeting up down the road. I've been going to the theater almost all my life, but my favorite way to go to the theater is with my Wendy's groups, and this year has been particularly sweet. So it was very sad we had to cut it short. So I want to thank you for giving me a wonderful year at the theater congratulate you, say how much I admire you, and how my great wishes for a starry future. Hi. Hi. Bronx Health Sciences High School. <laughs> this is Kathleen and Scott, and that was Bailey. We miss you. We were so sorry we didn't get to finish our year. 
but we hope we can pick it up next year and see more shows with you. Yeah, sorry, it's been a strange year, this included. But, but we're, we're proud of you. You guys are awesome. Your <laughs> Our discussions were always amazing. You're so smart and so insightful. We love you. We miss you. Hey, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. I miss you guys. How's everything? I'm wishing you well uh, with the rest of the year, uh, with the upcoming, the next step on your educational journey. But I'm glad to have been a part of this leg of your uh, educational third journey, especially in theater which is so important. Now, especially, there's gonna come a lot of stories out of this time and we're depending on you all to help share those stories. Hi, I, I wanna give a shout out to Josh Cohen and the students of Robert F. Kennedy Community High School in Queens. It was really invigorating to learn during our abbreviated time together, just what passionate, concerned and smart citizens you all are. So I want to wish you and all the other students congratulations, and I send you nothing but encouragement and great good luck for the exciting times that are ahead of you. Hello, Gaynor McCown Expeditionary Learning School, whose name I love. I want to celebrate you, Sophia, Isamar, Chris, Julia, Jessica, Kayla, Miracle, and Sal. You were my first mentor group, and it was an absolute pleasure seeing the world of theater through your eyes. So my wish for you all going forward is more theater, and I hope it'll come back soon. And my advice, no matter what, is be bold, be curious, and be true to yourselves in all things. Hi, everybody. I am so sorry that our time was cut short this year. It was an extraordinary year. And um, you're a great group of theater thinkers and artists. So although our time was taken away from us, a love of theater can never be taken away from you. So please carry that forward because Honestly, you all give me hope for the future. I think the theater is going to be a better place with all of you in it. And if there's one thing that the theater teaches us, it's how to get up, brush yourselves off, and be better the next time. Many good wishes to all the graduates of the 2020 Wendy Project. And especially to our gang at the Pan American International High School, led by Elio Sepulveda. Freddie. Yosu. Stephanie. Adam Maris. Andres, uh, Yelmi, and Miguel, <laughs> Darlies. With all that's going on in the world, you're probably not worrying about missing our last three canceled theater events. But you'd be wrong if you think we're kidding when we say we truly mourn our meetings with you. We cherish your faces, your youth, and most importantly, your opinions. We hope we all meet again. Good luck out there. Hello, everybody. Uh, happy graduation. Uh, I'm just going to say one thing, and that is you have started this journey of being introduced to theater and the arts, and that is an incredible thing. And that's all Wendy or any of us wish. We will get past this. The arts will survive and you will help it by continuing going to the theater. Send you all my best wishes. Hey, it's Mark Platt from Los Angeles, California. I want to say congratulations to everybody, most especially my students at West Bronx Academy. We had but a few outings, but they were wonderful. Remember, the theater is your home. It's a place for dreams and ideas and thoughts and aspirations. And the theater will be back. You come back, too. Congrats to all. Hi, it's Derek. I'm so sorry that I can't be with you guys today. Uh, I miss you. I'm sorry we didn't get to see the rest of our shows, but... Let's go do it next year. Let's go see some shows next year. Theater will be back. Theater has survived many other pandemics and plagues, and it will survive this one. And uh, I can't wait to um, see you all in the theater again. I am crazy proud of you guys, and I am so sorry that uh, this moment that is should be all about you and your accomplishments is getting a little co-opted by uh, all of the chaos in the world and all of the garbage that you guys are inheriting from older generations. But what I also saw this year was, I mean, you guys blew me away with your creativity, your intelligence, your compassion, um, your wisdom. So thank God you are the future uh, because each and every one of you rocks and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Hey, Renaissance, I miss you. And I will see you again. We will make sure of it. Please feel free when school's out over the summer to reach out to me directly. You know how to find me. And remember 
the meaning of the word renaissance, that it came out of actually the Black Plague. And as someone who has lived through and survived not one, but two plagues, I know you can too. Hello, beautiful Windy Project class of 2020. It's been a crazy year and there have been some events that have prevented us from being together to see theater that I know you would have loved or at least you would have appreciated it. I'm sorry for these unexpected roadblocks, but I'd ask you to think about it this way as you head on out for your future. Sometimes a roadblock means you have to find a better road. So it's up to you what you make out of the current situation. And I know it's not gonna be easy, but what I also know is that you're all up to it. And I just wanna say one more thing to the, all my students of color and specifically to the black students. I know that right now living in your skin and dealing with people who are blind to the beauty of your young vibrant souls has wearied you or it's enraged you or it's depressed you. I'm here to tell you that you're gonna get through this. You really will. If only you can let the struggle between seeking your bliss and giving vent to your frustrations push you forward into the world in a strategic and positive way. Again, it's not gonna be easy. I can tell you that from experience, but I also know from experience, you can find a way to show how much your life matters because your life matters. Don't ever stop believing that no matter what anyone says or does. And now to everyone, congratulations on being part of the Wendy Project and all the best to you with everything you do. Stay safe and be well. Congratulations, you are now a TDF member. What is membership, you ask? TDF membership is advanced access to deeply discounted tickets to Broadway, off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway, dance, concerts, and live performance. More than 300 choices daily in the greater NYC area. How does membership work? You receive a welcome note in your inbox. Your login will be your email. And you will receive a temporary password, which you can reset. In that same email will be your TDF credit code. You can go to the list of shows and use filters to select by category, genre, just browse, or search for a specific show. Once you find the show you want, select the date and time and purchase a ticket or up to nine tickets. Follow the prompts to checkout, and this is where you will need to enter your TDF credit code which you will do in the Apply Gift Certificate field. After that, you will receive confirmation via email. Where can you use membership? You can access TDF.org on your desktop, phone, or your tablet. When can I buy tickets on membership? Most selections are available two to three weeks in advance and up to the day of the show. The seat locations are the best available on that day. You'll pick up your tickets at the box office on the day of the show with your picture ID. Why membership? Theater is for everyone. And TDF is here to get you to the theater. Membership makes tickets more affordable. We've gotten you started with a $100 credit. Money is waiting for you. Visit TDF.org today. We're saving you a seat. Another way to get incredible deals on shows is by becoming a TDF member. Widely recognized as the organization responsible for the TKTS booths around the city, TDF is a not-for-profit dedicated to bringing the power of the performing arts to everyone. 
Members are able to purchase tickets online for as cheap as $11, and tickets are available up to six weeks before performances. Yearly memberships cost $40, but not everyone is eligible to join. Some who qualify include full-time teachers, students, civil servants, and retirees. To see if you're eligible and to sign up, visit tdf.org. Hi everyone, I'm Ginger Mayer, TDF's Director of Education Programs. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We have sincerely been missing you and the theater. A few minutes ago, you learned about our TDF membership that we're very excited to offer to you. And obviously you can't use it right now as theaters are still closed. But don't worry, when they reopen, and they will reopen, We'll send you an email so you can get yourself signed up and join us and all the other New Yorkers at the theater. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other.